The way that I think most of the women on this planet look their best, feel their best, is by working with their own unique natural beauty, not fighting against it to become something that they're not. Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new around here, my name is Jills and I talk about all things wellness and self-development for women. So if that's something you want to learn more about, be sure to hit the red subscribe button below as well as the notification bell so you don't miss when I put out any new videos. So in today's video, I want to talk about how to own your own beauty, more specifically how to embrace and enhance your own unique natural beauty, your unique natural looks to fully own who you are and bring it out more so you can look your best and feel your best. I wasn't really ever planning on talking about beauty much on this channel and it definitely won't be a big focus for me, but for some reason I felt very inspired to talk about this topic specifically. Now, one thing that women have to deal with in this world is beauty standards, oftentimes very impossible beauty standards. And you kind of tend to see the same look over and over again, that standard of beauty. You see it in magazines with models and celebrities. And don't get me wrong because that can most definitely be beautiful, but I'm a very big proponent of embracing and enhancing your unique natural beauty, bringing out more of what makes you, you, and fully stepping into who you are, not trying to fit yourself into this really small box. It just doesn't work. We're all different. We're all beautiful in our own way. So to look your best, you have to own that and embrace it. I think beauty is all about playing up who you really are, what your best attributes are, and being fully comfortable with who you are. So with that said, I have some tips for you guys all about owning your own beauty, embracing your natural beauty, so you can shine brighter and be even more radiant. So one thing that makes a huge difference in how you look and just looking better overall, and which brings out more of your beauty as opposed to just clashing with it, is knowing your colors. So basically knowing what colors, what types of colors, Colors look good on you, which ones compliment you based off of your skin tone, your hair color, that kind of stuff, and which ones just kind of clash or drown you out. So things like the color of your skin, the tone of your skin, whether it's warmer or cooler, the color of your hair, whether it's natural or dyed, all these things greatly affect what looks good on you, what makes you look more radiant, more alive, and what things might not look as good on you. And when you choose the right colors, it truly does enhance your appearance. And this isn't even doing anything to your face or your makeup or anything like that. This is just choosing colors that complement your natural beauty, your unique look. And when you figure out what these colors are and what colors suit you, this is really easy to do. Now I'm gonna direct you to the best video I've ever seen on the internet. It's called The Art of Color by Alexandra's Girly Talk. And it's a very informative video all about color and understanding color and how to find the color that works for you and looks best on you. So she basically helps you to figure this out for yourself. So after you finish watching this video, I highly recommend you go watch that video as well. I'll link it in the description box below. It's a little bit long, but it's absolutely worth your time. So now that I understand what colors kind of tend to suit me more and look a bit better on me, I really try to use this to guide my purchases going forward. It doesn't mean I never buy anything that's not in these color categories, but I do try to use it as a general guide because it really does help to make you look your best and enhance your own unique natural beauty. The next thing to own your own beauty is to play up and accentuate your favorite attributes. Maybe you love your eyes or you love your curves or you love your thick voluminous hair or your skin or your luscious lips or your snatched eyebrows. Embrace the things that you love about yourself even if they're not what's stereotypically popular or ideal or beautiful in today's society. To own your own beauty, you have to own what makes you you. The point of this is to bring attention to your best traits, your favorite traits, and to focus on them. So if you love your lips, maybe try accentuating them with lipstick. Or if you love your curves, maybe try wearing things that accentuate this and show it off, not hide it. And when we focus on our favorite attributes, the things that we love about ourselves and bring attention to these things, less attention is brought to the things that we might be a little bit more insecure about. Just to clarify, this isn't about hiding the things that we don't love about ourselves. It's just about embracing the things that we love the most and showing them off. Whatever physical attributes that we have, we're just kind of born this way and we can't really do much about it for the most part. You know, you're born with your eyes, your face structure, your body type, and it is what it is. So own whatever it is that's naturally given to you. Embrace it. 
love it. Now with that said, that leads me to my next point. In order to truly own your own beauty and be your most radiant self, you have to accept yourself and stop fighting against the things that you can't change. Like I said, there are things that we are just born with and maybe they fall in line with what's stereotypically beautiful and maybe they don't. We are built the way that we are built and the more time and energy and attention that we spend struggling with these thoughts of self-worth or insecurity, struggling to accept who we are and what we look like, the more that this will cause us to feel bad about ourselves and want to hide ourselves. And these feelings will affect how radiant we look, how difficult or how easy it is to embrace our natural beauty and will cause lots and lots of inner turmoil. It's time to accept who you are and reframe your own thoughts around your own beauty, your own looks, your own physical attributes. Cut off the voice in your head that's telling you that this part of you is ugly or it's not attractive. Cut off that voice, reframe those thoughts, and tell yourself something kind. Tell yourself that you love and accept yourself just the way that you are. We don't have time for this kind of inner dialogue anymore. Let it go. Now, the fourth thing I recommend when it comes to owning your own beauty, and I think this is a really, really big one, is not always following trends if they don't necessarily work for you. There are always gonna be trends in beauty and fashion. Think back to the 90s. I mean, we were tweezing our eyebrows so they're basically non-existent, and now we're back to having these big, beautiful, bushy eyebrows. And now the kids of TikTok are saying that skinny jeans are out and we're going to straight jeans and side parts are out and we're going to middle parts. And some of these trends will be really, really flattering for some people. And some of these trends won't. And it has nothing to do with your beauty or your worth or anything like that. But some things just compliment a person naturally and other things don't. Sometimes it can be really, really fun embracing and trying these trends, but sometimes these trends won't accentuate your own personal, natural beauty. For example, I'm never gonna have those big, beautiful, bushy eyebrows. That's just not in the cards for me. They don't grow that way. And honestly, it probably doesn't even work for my face anyways. You know, maybe the side part complements your face, your face structure so much better than a middle part ever will. Again, it's all about owning who you are are and knowing that not every trend is going to compliment you or work for you. Embrace the ones that do and have fun with it if that's your thing, but for the ones that don't, that's okay, just let them go. Next, remember to take care of yourself, to treat yourself well, to eat healthy, to move your body, to get your sleep. It's called beauty sleep for a reason. When you take care of yourself, this just helps to bring out more of your own innate natural beauty. Now here's the clincher. A lot of people try to eat healthy, move their body, do all the healthy things specifically to look more attractive, to lose weight, have a flatter stomach, or whatever it is. And I get it, but if you've ever done this, if you've ever tried this, you probably know that this doesn't really work very well, especially in the long term. When we're doing these things to specifically change our appearance, it kind of means that instead of doing these things out of love, we're doing these things out of hate for our current bodies, or at least a lack of acceptance for our current bodies and our current self. And this is why these healthy habits, when you think about them this way, this is why these healthy habits are so hard to stick to in the long term because they come from a very negative mindset. When you change this mindset from doing these healthy habits to make you look better to doing these healthy habits because you love yourself, because your mind and your body deserves it, because you want to feel your best, when you start implementing these healthy changes out of love for yourself instead of hate, this is what truly changes the game. It makes these healthy habits so, so much easier to stick to. So start taking care of yourself in whatever way you need to, but do it out of love. Do it out of respect for your body and yourself. And when you start doing this, not only will you feel so much better and feel so much healthier, but oftentimes your appearance will improve as well. You might be leaner. You might have stronger, healthier hair. You might have clearer skin. All of these are amazing added benefits, but should not be the focus or intention behind it. Everyone truly is beautiful in their own way and the quicker you can learn this, understand this, and accept this, the quicker and easier it'll be for you to own your own beauty and really bring out and embrace what makes you naturally beautiful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button. I really appreciate it and like I mentioned before, I wasn't really planning on talking about beauty as much but maybe it would be fun to sprinkle in a few beauty videos here and there but let me know your thoughts. Now go watch these two videos if you haven't already but besides that, I will see you in the next video.